I tell you, the wildest racing on the speedway right now is going on back at about 10th place. That's where Tony Stewart, Casey Kane, Jeff Gordon, Jeff Burton, Jimmy Johnson, and David Gilliland were just a moment ago. They were three wide here at the start-finish line. They're back to two wide right now. Tony Stewart takes the high road off turn two. Tony Stewart drifting way up off the bottom of the racetrack. He comes to the back stretch, and now he, whoa, trouble further back. J.J. Yaley's in the wall. Patrick Carpontier pounds the inside wall. Sam Hornish is involved. Jeff Burton, they're going to wad up about a dozen race cars on the back straightaway. Yeah, it looked like a parking lot over there for a junkyard over in turn number three. Let's go back over there. David Gilliland gets a piece. Johnny Sauter's in it. Patrick Carpontier, Kurt Busch, Matt K- Reed Sorensen woes it down. J.J. Yaley's there as well. And those are the only cars collected. Juan Pablo Montoya, I should say those are the only cars left over here in turn number three. It is an absolute junkyard. Patrick Carpanier, though, taking the worst hit, sliding down and just barreling into the inside retaining wall, got shot up off the bottom into traffic, and everybody began to pile in. A huge pack of traffic as now everyone tries to sort it out. Safety crews on the scene right now tending to Patrick Carpanier and the Kurt Busch car. Mike, will let you collect your thoughts. This race is going to be red flagged. In fact, it already has in the middle of the back straightaway over there. For at least seven, maybe eight cars, maybe even a couple of more getting a little damaged. Let's go back over to turn three. Yeah, Barney, what a vicious hit for Patrick Carpanier. Safety crews tending to him. He's out of the car. He has climbed from the life lock machine and right now with helmet on, taking a look at the damage, Kurt Busch is moving around inside the Miller Lite Dodge and now Kurt climbs out as well. We've got fluid. We've got parts pieces, sheet metal. We've got everything laying on this racetrack as the safety crews are going to have one heck of a time trying to get this racetrack cleaned up. Looks like uh, six to eight cars sustaining a lot of damage from that crash over there, which initially began, it looks like J.J. Yaley tagged the wall first. Uh, He was racing. The replay on the uh, Sprint Vision screen here shows he was racing right in front of uh, Carl Edwards. Carl was trying to clear the lap traffic. May have been some contact there that turned J.J. into the wall. Once he got loose, Mike, and that car kind of kicked back off the wall, then the chain reaction began. Well, that wreck, Joe, happened at the worst possible moment in the worst place. Towards the front of the pack, when you have a situation like that and cars get tangled up, everybody goes into uh, slamming on of brakes and countermeasures, and they're packed so tightly together after that restart, no one had anywhere to go except into each other, into the inside and outside walls. And right now, the task at hand is getting this racetrack cleaned up. The wreckers already arrived on the scene for Patrick Carpanier, and uh, Kurt Busch will be next up on the hook. Johnny Sauter's car also at rest over here. Window net is down on that machine, and right now the uh, the task at hand is trying to get turns three and four and half of the back straightaway cleaned up so we can get back to green flag racing. As we said, this race is under a red flag condition as they get the track cleaned up over in turns three and four.